critics who argue executive branch insignia should not be used on the campaign trail. Speaking to a live audience of hundreds, few of whom wore masks, Trump presented himself as the law and order candidate. He vowed to keep peace on America's streets amid growing tension over the repeat shootings of black citizens and subsequent calls for police reform. The president also took the opportunity to take several swipes at his Democratic challenger, Joe Biden. Trump accused the former vice president of wanting to demolish the suburbs, confiscate guns and appoint judges who would wipe away constitutional freedoms. We have spent the last four years reversing the damage Joe Biden inflicted over the last 47 years. Biden's record is a shameful roll call of the most catastrophic betrayals and blunders in our lifetime. Our reporter Colin Campbell has been following Trump's speech and the Republican convention from Washington. Tonight we saw classic Trump. It was really painting a dimmer picture of the rival that he has been so far enjoying just sort of reviling, just someone who he's really just beat upon over the past week, saying that he was weak against the coronavirus and that the vice former vice president essentially surrendered to COVID-19 instead of someone who fought against COVID-19. So everything that the current president did and said about former Vice President Joe Biden, the Democratic nominee for the presidency, was framed in a way that he is the stronger leader against someone who would be a weaker leader, someone who would change the suburbs and uh, create chaos, someone who would make a uh, make the U.S. into a socialist government instead of a democratic government. Everything that he said was really trying to show the, the future of what a democratic leadership would be. And in one word, it would be dystopian. Looking at the Republican convention as a whole over the last few days, how would you sum it up? It seems to have been pretty much all about one man. That's right. It was all about one man. And if you looked at how the speakers this week really put their stories together, it was either to humanize the president or to show that he was the tough guy that they needed in office because anyone else in that position would really contribute to the destruction of America as we know it. And we heard that tonight. We heard from his daughter who talked about the softer sides of her father, who talk, who uh, keeps a leg uh, a replica of a Lego uh, of the White House on the mantle, uh, someone who uh, joked around with family, someone who actually had a warmer heart. But at the same time, she talked about how her father would be a great leader. And then we heard from other speakers tonight, like Dr. Ben Carson, who talked about how the president really understands the problems of America. And then, of course, the ultimate speaker, the president who is really his best spokesperson, talked about how he was the person that we needed to have as the president of the United States, because if Joe Biden was the president, then everything would be turned upside down, especially in the suburbs of America. Colin Campbell now 